Let's get cruising for love and for drama. I'm Anna Rumor with Pop Culture. And I'm Nick Valdez from comicbook.com. And this is Docked, where we offer our unfiltered opinions about the real love boat. And let's just say this week we've got some trouble in paradise. <laughs> I thought it was messy before, you know, like, you know, but I was clearly mistaken. This is, this is wild. What a wild week. Truly, they've got like more mess in store for us than we could have ever imagined. We're on episode six already of the Paramount Plus show. And this week, the men are in power as we get this like love square triangle trapezoid thing going on what did you think of the episode even the crew had no idea how to like really work that out right like we we had a visual yeah. diagram of it and everything which i needed because i was like what is going on <laughs> yes a lot of just wild decisions this episode uh great new additions some uh, like uh, some off in the corner shenanigans that we couldn't see. So I, yes. I let's just get into it. And I know I like what an episode. <laughs> what an episode. Okay, so we're coming off of the drama last week where Alisa chooses Dustin over Nathan, breaking their blood pact that they've apparently had, and uh, he gets paired up with Sarah, kind of as a last ditch effort. So we're still reeling from that as we go into this week, which took place in Crete, a uh, beautiful place for a challenge. And it was like we were stepping onto Survivor for a hot second there for that first challenge. What is with these challenges? It's so like, it, it's physical in all sorts of ways, right? Like this is kayaking yeah. around a mountain and <laughs> deep diving for puzzle pieces. And I, I was in for it, 100%. 1,000%. I mean, but last week it was like, make a pizza, make it tell your love story. And this week they're like, you will dive to the depth of 200 feet and retrieve the puzzle pieces and then kayak back around the mountain. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> they just are switching them up every week. They must be like so nervous before they find out what they're doing. I know, there's just, there's no consistency. And that is like, I, I think that's why I love it. We really don't know yes. what to expect. And especially when we get into it, uh, Daniel and Shaylin immediately power couple. They take first place yeah. off the bat. And then, then you have Jordan and Kendra who are like super competitive too. And it was, it, it was kind of like, I had no idea who actually was going to win it. It was really neck and neck there for a little bit. The one person we knew was not gonna win it was uh, Sarah and Nathan because they like flipped immediately and just never could get back on the horse after that, despite her being a scuba diver, apparently. We've learned from Nathan from the beginning that he really doesn't like someone who's like not athletic and who yeah. can't keep up with him. So the second the, the kayak flips over, Sarah's like, oh no, he must hate me. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> I think he did. I think that was a turning point. Cause as you see uh, later in the episode, things go downhill for them. And it definitely was that she's not good at kayaking. <laughs> That's- Nathan, that is, you, you rogue. <laughs> that is the kind of swift decision-making I fall in love with with Nathan. And I just, ah, uh, what a challenge. And ultimately, you know, we see some struggling. We see Dustin and Lisa really can't really get in sync almost. And then, oh, yeah. you know, but ultimately, Daniel and Shayla do win it. What is interesting is that, like you said, we do start to see some of the rifts appearing in between each of the couples, right? Like this is yeah. the challenge is where we start seeing Nathan kind of drift away. Elisa is in a downward spiral, basically the entire yes. episode from that point on. Oh, what a- She should have kept with the blood pact. She, and you know, we, <laughs> we will discuss why, right? So when we get back to the love boat, we actually bring in a new complication too. Of course, we've got two new women joining the group this week to shake things up now that the men are in power. And we get to meet Tyler and Sydney. Now, Sydney, all I know about her is that she is from the Midwest and she is a twin. Yes. As someone from the Midwest, I did not know you could make it that much of your personality but here we are. I guess I'm gonna bring it up more because um, that's really kind of like the only thing I know about her. I mean, I guess in some ways you just have to lead with it, right? I, I just, yeah, because other than that, all we find out about Sydney is that she has tattoos 
and mm -hmm. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, it is. I seriously was like, I don't know anything about this woman. She's got a twin who's not here, so it doesn't really matter. And, uh, and, and she's from the Midwest. So that's what we know about her. And then Tyler seems super cool. She is like a veteran. She was in the military and she got married to her high school sweetheart when she was just 18. And then, you know, like that didn't work out and they split up and now she's out there looking for love again. She seemed very nice and very normal. Yes, as we've seen, it, it was a little, I was a little worried at first because yes. as we've seen, the more well-adjusted people really don't make it on this boat. <laughs> I was nervous too. I was like, oh, Tyler, you seem nice. I'll see you never again, I'm sure, but what, well, you know? We uh, we might have been wrong about her uh, yes. because whenever she comes in, Nathan is immediately like a wooga, which yeah. is uh, bad news for Sarah. <laughs> yeah, they were they were big draws for both Nathan and Jordan, who uh, who immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we're both like, oh, these women are very attractive. And because of Tyler, we actually got to see more Nathan's personality. He's apparently goofy. I'm so surprised. Uh, Nathan, you continue to surprise me. I love you. Every episode, you give me something more. <laughs> he's goofy as opposed to Jordan, who says he's goofy. But then when Sydney's like, well, tell me a joke, he can't. And I was like, oh my God, what is yes. this? They apparently have sparks. I don't see it. And the whole thing with Nathan too, with because uh, he's, he's immediately attracted to Tyler. But at the same time, he also has Sarah and Elisa fighting for him. And this is that weird diagram that we eventually get in the episode where it's Elisa still has feelings for Nathan, apparently, despite, you know, dumping him off last week. And Sarah's mm -hmm. like, well, what, what am I, chump change? And <laughs> apparently, <laughs> unfortunately, yes. <laughs> and we've got Dustin in there too. He is in love with Elisa, kind of, but he also recognizes that she's probably not into him. And then Tyler's in there, because Nathan likes Tyler. You understand why I was like, it's a quadrangle now, because even the square diagram that they showed, I was like, that's not showing all of the nuance. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And it, you know, it is good though, that Dustin immediately recognizes, hey, this isn't gonna work out. And he starts looking elsewhere. And Nathan immediately just like, kind of falls for Tyler. This is, that's what's interesting. Like they, they click right off the bat because Tyler's gravitated toward him too. I'm starting to see what the appeal is. Like I, I, I've been saying this ironically about Nathan, I love you, but now I'm like, oh, I get why you're so instantly pulling people towards you. I'm starting to get it. Absolutely. I mean, I remember at the beginning when he was saying, oh, I just haven't opened up yet. And I was like, bro, I don't know how much of you there is to open up to because you seem pretty 2D. But now that he really is opening up, I should have trusted him. He is kind of like a funny, goofy, interesting person. I, and clearly he and Elisa were just not a good match because we didn't get any of this whenever they were together. He did not like her at all. This is, this is what's also unfortunate about seeing Elisa kind of flounder throughout the thing because mm. the, the current women all had to stay away for a day just so Sydney and Tyler would get more alone time with each of the men and get to introduce themselves fully. And that's a good move. I can't wait to see if they do that more. Elisa and Sarah start fighting with each other because of Nathan. This is the mess. This, here we are. <laughs> it was so messy, especially because I was like, Nathan's not into either of you. You should just be friends with each other and stop fighting. Then we get into the dates where the crew is like, mm. okay, Dustin and Sarah kind of got pushed out of the Elisa, Nathan, Tyler thing. So let's set them right. up on a date. And through that, Dustin finds, oh, I'm not into Sarah either, <laughs> which is... Well, and she goes straight up, I'm using him to stay on the show, which I do appreciate the honesty, but he also sees that clearly and is like, I'm not going to be used to stay on the show. I am not into her, which I also respect. So, you know, kind of a disaster of a date altogether except for the fact that they got to eat dessert which is always appreciated <laughs> <laughs> absolutely and then we get uh, nathan and tyler who get like a salsa sort of a salsa lesson mm -hmm. but it, but it's more yeah. like the just teaching the dip it was a we, dip class <laughs> yes yes and then we see nathan's dance moves which was i i don't know how to describe it anna i really don't it was just like a a chest thrust kind of 
thing. I. It was very Jersey Shore. <laughs> very Jersey Shore. Clearly, we know when he grew up watching them get down at Ed Karma. And uh, I see that and I recognize that. And I, I respect him for doing it on national television <laughs> in the year 2022. Yes, and you know, and Tyler's loving it, and I'm loving it. Yes, exactly. Well, and whenever they go to do the dip again, he gives her a little smoochy smooch. So there's a romantic side to Nathan that Elisa was also looking for. It's there. It's there. Nathan has layers. The 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 onion is peeling away, Nathan. I can't wait. Let's let's see more of that. I can't <laughs> wait. And then you know, the final date we have Jordan and Sydney. So that's where it gets interesting. You know, because Sydney and Jordan do have like a very secret conversation away from the cameras. They find like the one little piece of wall that's not you know. So it's like, how much do we infer? He does say he's in trouble. Oh, so. I thought they were smooching for sure. Did you not think that? I I did. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just like, you know, <laughs> what connections do we oh. make from that, right? Like, this is, this is interesting. Especially because Kendra, who has really been on Jordan this whole time, you know, and it was mm. brought up before that you shouldn't keep him on a leash. And this was, this was the true test of that. And, hmm. <laughs> Did he pass? I guess. I, if they don't show Kendra this footage moving forward, I would be very disappointed. I want her to see it. Not oh. in a malicious way. I just want her to know about it moving forward so that she can make the appropriate decisions and also maybe bring a little drama to our screens. Am I a bad person for that? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, with all the varieties of challenges, right? There there has to be one where it's like, oh, the reward is you get to see one of the other dates or something. Heading into the sail away ceremony, Elisa, 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 Elisa. <laughs> what a play to stay on the show. She's telling Nathan, I'm so sorry, I didn't choose you, I've got nothing with Dustin, I regret my decision, please, please, please keep me on the show, please, Blood Pack Part 2, please, like, that kind of thing. Yes, and through the whole episode, Elisa was like, I'm not feeling Dustin, I'm not sure how I, you know, want to keep moving with him, or she kept dropping all these little hints about how she made the wrong decision, but it's tough because she sees this Nathan who's opening up and, you know, she wants that too much, apparently, mm. because Nathan stone cold on the couch was like, you should be sorry. It's a respectable yeah. move, but just too much too late, Elisa, just too much too late. Because as we get into the sail away ceremony, of course, Daniel picked Shaylin after they had a very good date at the captain's table where Shaylin right. was like, oh, he's 25. And, you know, Daniel was like, I don't know what jump the bones means. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh he's 25. Gosh. Right. <laughs> I loved him being like, yeah, Shaylin says that she wants to jump my bones. I don't know what that means. I was like, I do. I, I don't know if she'd love you saying this on television for everyone. That's that's a 25 year old for you. There we go. <laughs> yes. yes, but nonetheless, you know, he picks her, of course. I love these two together, regardless of whether they know what each other is talking about with various uh, idioms. <laughs> yeah. The true power couple. Marty picks Emily. That that was also the duh. Nothing, you know, nothing's really dro driven a wedge between them yet. You did know. we even see them this episode? I like, did they get paid for this episode? I did not see um, hmm. hide nor hair of these two. <laughs> Great point. I mean, we saw them in the kayak, right? I, right. I think that was it. Yes. <laughs> we know they were there and that's it. <laughs> Nothing that else. Yes, that is it. And so here is where we get into the big shocks. So Jordan, e even after his date with Sydney, where they clearly did something in the corner over there, mm. he picks Kendra. So... <laughs> mm. I, I bet he didn't think we saw what happened in the corner over there. And he's I... like, we're going to continue on the love story. I can't wait for her to possibly find out about that, though. Then we get into the real mix-ups, right? This is where oh, Justin, he ultimately picks Sydney. 
Which is a surprise, because I, I think they talked to each other like once. Right, I mean, because he didn't like Elisa. She was walking around telling everyone that she didn't like him. So that's one person gone. And then Sarah was obviously trying to game him at the date. So no, and uh, and that just leaves Sydney, and she is from the Midwest. So why wouldn't you pick her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there we go. Sydney might also tell Kendra. Mm, here we go. That might happen too. This is this is juicy. Okay, Dustin. All right, Dustin, making these good little decisions. Okay, yes. let's see where <laughs> Loki stirring the pot. I love that for him. Yes, and of course the king pot stirrer Nathan. He ultimately yeah. picks Tyler. The blood pact officially ends. This is it. It <laughs> dies today. It dies today. The blood pact is over. Elisa and Sarah are shoving off. It was a very interesting sail away ceremony. Nathan, of course, would pick Tyler. They had such a connection. Uh, of mm -hmm. course, he would want to find out more about her and you know get to continue on this. Elisa was feeling so bad like i i felt bad for elisa but it was just not her episode this week just complete downhill i do feel bummed about sarah not continuing either maybe if she did pick dean last week maybe she would still be here maybe not you know but yeah. he here we are. Next week, we're going to Istanbul, which is gonna be really fun. Uh, we get to see them go on a challenge in the marketplace. It's gonna be a blast. And then we get a twist where one of the couples is gonna be making the decision at the sail away ceremony. I don't know what that means yet, but I'm excited to see it play out. We'll see. We will see. We'll see and we'll all see together. Uh, you can join us every week as we break down more of the real love boats on Docked. We'll see you next time.